everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my review of Sadie by Courtney Summers. This is a young adult thriller book about a girl named Sadie who loses her sister in this horrific murder and it goes unsolved. So we don't know who the murderer is. So we follow two kind of separate perspectives here. We follow this radio show about this investigator who's trying to find Sadie because she goes missing shortly after her sister's murder. And then we also follow Sadie's perspective on her quest to find her sister's murderer. So I really, really enjoyed this book. I finished it and just thought, wow what a book and I can totally see why it is so hyped. The biggest thing for me that I really enjoyed was the combination of perspectives between the radio show and how that was written and then also getting to see Sadie's perspective. I thought that was really unique and well done and so if you feel like you just need a quick read because this is very short. It's thrilling. It's going to really like get you from page one. You're hooked. Um, I do recommend Sadie because it does fly by and see how like it doesn't even take up much of the page. So this really doesn't take long to read at all. It maybe took me like a total of two hours to read. This does get fairly graphic um, and not in like an overly obscene way. Like this isn't something that's gonna be disturbing or like really stick with you in terms of like the, the content, like the graphic content, but it does become um, very apparent that some stuff has happened to Sadie and her sister in the past that's pretty dark and gritty and can be problematic for some people. So. I will warn, make sure to check out like all the trigger warnings because this one does have some of that graphic content that I don't think is done for shock value by any means. It always serves the purpose of the story, um, but it is in there. In terms of character, I loved Sadie's character. And I it's funny because I had just read It um, by Stephen King, where our main character, Bill, in that book has a stutter. And then I picked up Sadie right after that, not knowing anything really about this book. And Sadie also has a stutter. Um, so that was just kind of interesting. So I feel like I really connected to her, though. She had been through a lot and you can always see her justifications for things and like why she was the way she was um, and you really sympathize with her like she's a character that you root for the entire way through in terms of like a character arc though i don't know that she really has much of a character arc she kind of stays the same character at the beginning of the novel um that she, and ends in that same way so there's not much growth to her character, but I don't think that that's what this story was trying to accomplish with her. And I don't think that that took away from the story by any means. It was just an interesting observation that we kind of started with the same Sadie that we ended with, um, which isn't common in young adult fiction. Usually we have a very clear character arc where our character grows and matures and kind of grows into themselves. And that just didn't really happen. But you love Sadie from page one all the way to the end of this book. <clears throat> She's really a character you can get behind. In terms of the supporting cast of characters, we don't spend a ton of time with them because again, this is a pretty short book. So you get connected to some of them, but not on a super deep level, just because you don't spend a ton of time with them. You spend some time with Sadie and you feel like you really get to know her, but the rest of the characters, they serve their purpose very well. It's just you don't spend enough time with them to really like feel that connection. Overall, I gave this book a four out of five stars. I think it was a really gripping and thrilling book and it had a bigger message that I think is really important to read about. I would highly recommend this for fans of the female of the species. It really reminded me of that one. Um, so if you've read that one and loved it, I highly recommend Sadie. So that was my review of Sadie by Courtney Summers. Have you all read this book? What did you think of it? I would love to know. So leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching with me today. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And sometimes I also release more if I have reviews like this one. And until next time, bye.